I am Sakura Ogami. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the Prime Apes. The famed Missing Link. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey, you. Huh? Y yes I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod in my body. Um, what are you? Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hm. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Name's Byaki Yatogami. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half ass introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the Ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuya Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are... Well, vast. His title of Ultimate Affluent Progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of... Exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thread online. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, You and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, huh? I know I will. Yasuhiro Hagakure, known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Uh, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? I saw it! I looked right at it! Seriously! I totally saw it! Saw what? A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel! <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink! We're in high school! Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? And, well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia... Ludin... Huh? Ludenberg. It is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> 
I don't know what you are talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Lutenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even something. Ultimate. They each have their own individual sort of, um... Okay. Time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Well, you see... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates! What's that about? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What's it doing there? Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something? What? Like, a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off? And we're not actually at school? Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up! I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? Huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating, but then it began. seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Ah, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting! What the hell was that just now? Well then, if you'll excuse me. H hey What, you're gonna take off just like that? Oh yeah, now I get it! This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony! Man, thank god it was all a joke. 
I'd be totally freaked if this was all real. All right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Well, wait for me. I want to go with you. That is that then. I will see you all there. Not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. This, this doesn't seem right. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I... I guess she's right. But still, I'm kinda... No, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Now this place is even worse! And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey! Where's whoever called us here? Mondo, stop! No running! I too shall go. <gasps> hey! Wait! Don't leave me here all alone! Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym, and I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. See? Told ya! It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right, but in a way, that just empathized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear! I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it, it was... What I was seeing was... Uh, it was... Utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. What? What? That teddy bear can talk? Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma! And I'm your headmaster! Wah! It moved! Seriously, man, calm down! It's probably just a remote controlled toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything! You cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench! My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it! Ah, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams! 
I just couldn't bear that. Bear that? Really? You are unfortunate. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Quiet down now. Quiet down. Uh, okay, so... He's abandoned the gag. Everyone, stand at attention and bow! And... Good morning! Good morning! You don't have to say it back. Now then, let us commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life, there isn't one! In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die, such as the school life you've been assigned. What did he just say? Until the day we die? Oh, but fear not! We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. That's the least of our worries right now. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I am not screwing with you! I am no liar! Of that, you can be 100% sure. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school? They're there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Yeah, cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie, or a joke, a bunch of skeptics, all of you. But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope Speak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Oh, but you know... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. Really? As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they, and they alone, would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> 
Well, you know, if one person were to murder another... M murder Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know... Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. And I just find that so... Darn exciting! What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... It's... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Yeah. Stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering? 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 What do you mean, blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! I just don't get it, do you? Let us go! Let us go! You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over! Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead. Go on a kill, kill, killing spree. All right. Come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Eh? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick? Yeah, because I mean... You know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hiro aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. Listen up, asshole! This shit's gone way too far! What the hell kind of joke is this? Joke? What? You mean, like, your hair? Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He'd locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! Wah! Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here or I swear to Christ! What? No smart-ass comeback this time? Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word he did what he was told. He... threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... The hell? That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I'd never seen anything like it. But you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? I told you I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Monokuma! What? 
There's another one? You son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now! Well, yes! I was serious about trying to kill you! You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little squat on the butt. Hey, does that mean there's like a bunch of you around somewhere? Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it the E-Handbook. <clears throat> yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it! When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that! Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space-age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever? Or kill? What? What just happened? Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? But killing someone? That's... We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is... This is just... What is this? A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. 
You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words have planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, it's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Thank you.